I like science and I trust science. And recently someone left this comment on one of my videos saying, before you trust the science, remember that the plum pudding model exists. Well, I thought that's actually a great point because it's a perfect example of why you should trust the science. In the early 20th century, the plum pudding model of the atom was one of the leading models because it was a very stable model. Basically, the atom was a blob and there were negatively charged electrons dispersed throughout it. But New Zealand physicist Ernest Rutherford wanted to check that it was in fact the correct model. So he started using alpha particles to verify it. He shot a beam of these alpha particles through a sheet of mica and measured the displacement on a scintillation screen. It's basically like rolling a ball through a box. If there's nothing in the middle, the ball will roll right on through. He expected the alpha particles to mostly sail right through the atom because there was nothing big to displace them, and he did in fact get a minimal result. But then his grad student, Ernest Marsden, needed something to do, so he had him work with Hans Geiger to refine the experiment, this time using a thin gold foil. The results were not the same. Some of the alpha particles actually shot back almost 180 degrees. Going back to our ball analogy, if you roll the ball through the box and there's something in there and it bounces right back, the team realized that that something had to be a central mass, that a lot of the alpha particles were going through the atom, but a fair number of them, about one in 20,000, was being bounced right back. This forced physicists to realize that the plum pudding model couldn't be right, and the Saturnian model became the new working theory for ongoing research into the atom. This is actually a great look at the scientific method. Scientists went in expecting one result, and when they didn't get it, they didn't dispel their methods. They changed their models and they moved forward, eventually uncovering more and more about the atom.